Hello gamers, welcome to Retrocade. There's nothing quite like the feeling of having free reign to pilot a giant robot as far as the eye can see. So let's take a look at the best open world mecha games. But before that, do not forget to hit the subscribe button in order to help us grow. Phantom Galaxies has been in early access since November 2023 meaning that there are still a lot of kinks to be worked out for the final version. It makes sense given how ambitious this Steam release is, allowing players to freely explore a sci-fi universe, piloting giant mechs, and battling others they come across on their journeys. The game features four distinct classes of mech fighters, Assault, Lancer, Buster, and Breacher, each offering different specs. While it may not be as polished as some of the other games here, keep an eye out for its full release. Sandland is a video game adaptation of the iconic manga and anime series created by Akira Toriyama. Released earlier in 2024, the game is an action RPG, allowing players to explore the open desert world. However, much like the anime, most of the game revolves around players building tanks and machinery to battle fearsome enemies. What makes this an especially strong mecha game is the customization involved in creating players' vehicles, from Gundam-esque robot suits to fully loaded race cars. Particularly for fans of the anime, there's a lot to love about this action-packed RPG, but even for those unfamiliar with the source material, it's still fun to play around in giant machines. For fans of mecha games, Steambot Chronicles is a certified classic. The PlayStation 2 game was released back in 2005 and was incredibly ahead of its time in terms of offering a sandbox adventure featuring giant robots. Players inhabit trotmobiles for a variety of purposes, from transportation to battling. Like Sandland, Steambot Chronicles even featured a wide array of customization options that can change aspects of a player's trotmobile, making them slower and stronger or faster and frail. It's a shame the series never took off, as fans could only imagine how expansive the series would be on current-gen consoles. Among the more notable mecha games is 2013's Warframe, which has had a steady life on current-gen consoles over the years, and even made its way to iOS earlier in 2024. The MMO shooter places a heavy emphasis on the titular giant mechs, offering a variety of game modes, including PvP shooter, RPG, and parkour levels. What's especially fascinating about Warframe is how updates included new open-world areas, like the Plains of Eidolon, allowing players to explore in their mech suits. Despite being over a decade old, this game continues to age extremely well for an open-world mech game that's free to play, aside from pesky microtransactions. There was a lot of hype around Horizon Zero Dawn, when it was first released in 2017 for PS4. While the series has since been updated with sequels for PS5 and PC, the original game is the most straightforward and flawless experience the franchise has yet to offer, though it has one major difference to other games mentioned already. Namely, Horizon Zero Dawn centers on a hunter named Aloy, who ventures through an open world filled with mechanical creatures known as machines. Rather than an adventure in a giant mech suit, players spend most of the game taking on quests where they must fight these giant robots, though some creatures can be rewired into mounts to ride around on. The Xenoblade franchise has always been massive in scale, even from its first installment on the Nintendo Wii. 
Xenoblade Chronicles X, however, blows all the others out of the water, as players can operate giant mechs, known as Skells, to explore the vast and diverse open world of Mira. However, Skells can't be unlocked until close to halfway through the main story. While the first half of the game is exciting enough as an open world action RPG, getting to battle and explore in Skells completely changes how players interact with the environment. Overall, this game is the perfect game for those wanting an open world mecha experience, though sadly for now it's exclusive to the Wii U.